Good news. Philippines is waiting for the arrival of some of the world's most advanced helicopters. Turkish Aerospace has completed another two T129B attack helicopters for the Philippine Air Force. Meanwhile, production of the first batch of 32 S-70I Black Hawk helicopters is proceeding apace at Sikorsky's Polish subsidiary PZL Milets. Turkey recently completed tests on the first two T-129s, and the PAF has commenced acceptance tests. Their delivery to the Philippines by air is reportedly targeted for completion by the 3rd of December. These are the third and fourth examples from a 13.73 billion Philippine pesos, $275.6 million, order for six units placed in July 2020. The final pair of T129s could be handed over to the Philippines before the end of this year. Significantly, the PAF is considering buying additional T129Bs too. It has requested governmental funding for another six units, and negotiations with Turkey have commenced. However, any signing of a follow-on contract will depend upon the budget. In May, the PAF declared that its first brace of T-129Bs was fully mission-capable in the 15th strike wing. They arrived in the Philippines on 9 March. As seen here, the PAF's existing S-70I Black Hawks are kept busy whilst performing a disaster relief mission. Photo. PAF. The PAF ordered a total of 32 S-70I combat utility helicopters for 32 billion Philippine pesos on the 22nd of February, and the first three have already been completed in Poland. Given the lack of large commercial aircraft after Russia's wanton invasion of Ukraine, it is unclear how they will be transported to the Philippines. Antonov Airlines previously delivered 16 S-70I helicopters to the Philippines via an 124 flights, but the airline is busy serving the logistics needs of embattled Ukraine. Sikorsky is clearly on track with production, for it had promised to deliver the first five Black Hawks in 2023, 10 each in the following two years, and the final seven units in 2026. As for Manila's 12.7 billion Philippine pesos contract for 16 MI-171 helicopters signed in November 2021, Moscow urged Manila to proceed with the deal. However, the new government is adamant that it is cancelled, and it refused to accept a free MI-17 offered by Russia as part of the deal in June. Incidentally, the first Philippine personnel had completed MI-171 training in Russia before the deal was called off. Sensing an opportunity, the US has made available $100 million in military aid for the Philippines to buy new helicopters, such as the CH-47F Chinook for its heavy lift requirement. Finally, the Philippine Army received another second-hand BO-105 helicopter recently. Carrying the serial number 223, it will serve as a medevac platform. This particular aircraft was donated by Dornier Technology, and it brings to four the number of BO-105s in Army service.